Hey kids, welcome to lesson 12, loops and simulations number eight. Keep on experimenting. Your simulation can be updated or changed however you like. What new questions do you have? Do you want to look for longer streaks of heads? Do you want to roll a die instead of flipping a coin? Make any changes and improvements to your simulation that you like. Well, isn't that fun? We get to be creative a little. Let's do a couple different things here. Let's one, change our program here a little bit. Let's try some different numbers. Maybe instead of looking for heads, I'm more of a tails person. Tails never fails. So maybe update our code here to do tails instead of heads. And since we've been doing so many dice game, let's uh, change the code to make it roll a die instead of a dice. Sounds like a lot of fun. Let's go down here and play around. Well, the first thing I said is, I am not a heads person, I always go tails. Let's make our variable instead of num heads now, num tails. And I wanna look for streaks of tails. And let's add a different number, let's use my age we'll go with 25 and if the flip is between 0 and 1 and really heads is 1 so we want tails to be 0 and we are going to increase num tails plus 1 every time we roll otherwise and we still want to look for a streak we're going to make num tails equal to 0 always have to change our comments so tails never fails this many times and then we'll do our streak plus num heads well we don't want num heads we want num tails and the simulation total flips right there on this one, if I run and let's comment this, well, let's make this smaller so we can verify it. Let's do two and let me comment, take off the comment here of my right to see it go. Let's hit run. Tails never fails this many times. One, two. This one took us nine to get to. Two on the first bat again. We're having some good luck rolling here. Same thing over there. Let's comment that back out. Let's try, I said my age, 25. Let's see how many flips that takes. Reset run. It's thinking, ooh, it's thinking hard. Still thinking, look at the spinning wheel over here. Does not look like our luck here is very good that it is still thinking. Well, 25 did not work. I let this go for quite a while and it never came up with an answer. 25 tails in a row looks like to be way too many. Let's try 15. Run. Hey, we got an answer. About 5,000 flips. Let's try again. 13,000. Looks like it's running that number. Let's increase it by three. Let's try 18. Still thinking. It looks like 18 too many. Let's just try 16. Run. Thinking down here. I think 15 was our magic number. Doesn't look like, at least in this environment, that we can calculate anything out past 15 tries. How about making a die instead? Well, that sounds fun. How do we change our code for that? Well, we're gonna put our variable now, instead of the number of tails, Let's put num dice. 
and this is just the number on the dice. And we'll say in ours, num dice. And which streak do we want to go with? How about rolling a streak of three? We'll start off with something easy. And we're not doing a flip. While well, flip certainly will still work, let's make it meaningful and descriptive and change flip to roll. Our random numbers we don't want between zero and one. There is between one and six. That's the numbers on the dice. And let's say if we roll, how about three? We're going to increase what? Well, this time we're going to increase num dice. Else we are going to reset num dice back down to zero. Down here, tails never flails. Well, we can't write flip either. We have to write roll. And let's do something new in our uh, console.log. Our roll, you rolled, and our number here, we'll do plus roll plus three times. Well, I guess it didn't say that you rolled. You rolled that many times to get three threes in a row. There we go. That sounds a little better. Simulation number we're going to increase. And we're going to do total rolls. Is our sim num there. Well, now that I think of it, really that doesn't matter right there. How about we just put you rolled a roll and we'll output that number. So it'll just tell us what we rolled and spit the numbers down. And at the end, we should get there. We are commented these out right now. Let's run it once and see what happens. And then we can take it out if we need to. In this one, we have a dice. The dice, we're looking for something to happen at least three times. So as long as it's less than three, it's gonna keep doing something. What's that something? Well, the something is called roll. And that's just picking a random number between one and six, which is the number on the dice. If we roll a three, we're gonna increase num dice by one, else we're gonna reset num dice to zero. We're currently just gonna write out our rolls, comment it out, we have a you rolled with a roll on it. And at the end, we wanna know how many total rolls it got. Let's run, bunch of numbers there. Looks like it's always gonna output more than we want, so let's comment that back out. Run, 173 rolls to roll three threes in a row. Let's try six. In this one, if we roll a six, we're gonna increase one. So let's reset, run, 1,000, 500, four. That's a lucky roll there. I think that's where we should stop at. We can keep adding to this if you want. You can add another die in there and you can have it set so if both die roll the same number, you can stop, otherwise you keep rolling. Do whatever you would like. I really look forward to seeing what creativity you kids come up with because I know the programs I look through are amazing and I can't wait to see what you create. Well, kids, that finishes lesson 12. You did an amazing job, congratulations. And I don't know about you, but I am ready to move on to lesson 13. When you're ready, I'll see you over there. Good job on this lesson, kids, really good job.